Hey guys, King Jad here. Just a wee video here, uh, an update about Phil's desperate need for money as soon as possible to pay for his bills and all that nonsense. And again, it's something I kind of glossed over a wee bit uh, the other day because I actually missed something that he kind of said and then, you know, extrapolate more than I feel. This is what I said the other night and it was covered in my last video briefly, you know what I mean? But it's something that is unrecorded, mind. But he actually went into details of how much he actually needs by, like, Today, this is Saturday today, you know, uh, and it's Saturday morning for me in the UK, so during the day, during Phil's streams today on the Saturday, he will need a good chunk of money, not just to pay his bills, but also to pay for feasting with the king, not nonsense for his marathon. But this is what Phil said before. How much do I need for the bill? Do you really want to know? Uh, one of them is my internet bill and one of them is my condo dues. So between the two of them, it's about 850 bucks. Yeah. There you go, because you're so nosy. All right, so 850 bucks. Thanks. <laughs> well, it's kind of interesting. That it, we're going to assume that that's a flat rate that Phil's not got any of that, right? Or barely any of that, right? No, again, obviously there's more to the club, not shit. And this is like his kind of midstream unrecorded bag where he also has a good people that about his internet, not shit. But I'll ask you a bit. I think I wanted to focus on there. 850 bucks he needs for those bills. And then the daily wrap that same night on July 7th, which I missed before when covering his bag and stuff on... The, the video I done the other day, I forgot all completely about the daily wrap, which actually had a specific bag saving involved. So if we go to that, and uh, where does it start, the bag, and does it start about 255, is it? Let's see. Ah, here we go. Yeah, it is about here. Here's the deal. This week, I have two very large bills due, all right? One of them is my internet bill, and one of them is my dues here for where I live. They're both due over the over the weekend. One likely is going to clear like Saturday, and one's going to probably clear by like Monday. So, which is all well and good, except for the fact that uh, you know it's going to be tips that's going to pay for that. I already have some of it, but not all of it. But then I also have my day off on Wednesday. So, essentially, what this means is not only do I have to have enough to pay these bills over the course of the weekend, but then I also have to make enough to have a day off on Wednesday, which means grocery shopping and pet supplies and a meal with my wife and all the usual stuff, all right? Now, please understand something. I'm bringing this up because I need you to refocus your support if you were already planning on supporting me this weekend. I'm not asking for anything above and beyond. In fact, essentially, if I just got the same support as I usually get on my streams, I'll be good to go, all right? But what I need is a favor. I need you guys that if you have an option to choose how you will support any of my content this weekend, the best way you can help me is by tipping me because the tips are going to help me to immediately pay those bills and also have my day off on Wednesday. Okay, I'll be honest, it's ner it makes me nervous because I've noticed recently there's actually been an uptick in Super Chats, which is great. It helps the channel long term, and certainly I'm not being ungrateful, and if that's the only way that you can contribute or support the channel, great. There's also been a lot of gifted memberships recently, and again, that's allowed us to hit membership goals. We now have a special event coming up soon. In fact, it's this really ridiculous event that I added a picture of uh, here, here it is. <laughs> you know, whoops. Uh, that was a misclick. There we go. Uh, me going through my closet. Years and years, eight years of stuff in there, plus the stuff that came from Connecticut that might still be in there. That's going to be an interesting and fun event, right? And that's because we already hit a membership goal for the month. So listen, I appreciate all that support. And by all means, if that's the only way you can support, then keep it up. All right? But I really need concerted effort this weekend. If you can help me and tip me, please do. That's what I need help with right now, okay? Again, I'm not asking for anything above and beyond. You know idiots will come out and press, ah, oh, Phil's saying he wants you to pay directly his bills for him. And blah, 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 blah. Just don't listen to the white noise idiots. I mean, first of all, I'm a person who makes content and you support the content. And that's how I make my living. Yes, actually, all my bills get paid by my viewers. Duh. Like, no shit. That's how it works. That's how any content creator operates. Like, what are you talking about? But this is what these idiots do. They'll try to spin this into a negative thing and be like, oh, now Phil's begging for extra money and shit. I'm not. My, I get an outstanding amount of support every day. But what I need is a focus on tips so I can actually afford this stuff for this week. And then it's not that much of a concern moving forward. We go back to more variety of support, okay? So if you can, please tip. Thank you in advance to anyone who supports in any way, of course. But tipping would really help me out over the course of this weekend. And thank you to anyone who does, all right? I mean, I should to extrapolate this a bit more as well, because the fact of the matter is, he is kind of asking for people to go above and beyond. People supporting the usual kind of normal ways, collectively. 
thinking that overall will help Phil. It doesn't, they, they're in fans' minds. They're thinking that if I give him a super chat now, it will help him in the long run, and he'll use that money I give him eventually in the long run to put it aside to future bills, whatever as well. People from like a month, a month ago or two months ago thinking that when he supported by giving a membership or or doing a super chat or a super sticker and all that nonsense, you know, they got a long-term support plan, would have been thinking this will help you for future bills. And yet, they, because you cannot finance your, you know, your money properly, like a normal adult, you cannot put your money to the side for future bills because you spend everything you get almost immediately. And now they have to actually focus on trying to bail you out because you're crap at finance. It's, it's, it's unbelievable that, that there's a simple way to spin it is, Phil, that you're terrible at managing your finances and your fans need to bail you out. That is the simple truth of the matter. You're making this video specifically to try and get your fans to bail you out because you've got piss poor management skills of your money. And you want fucking them to step up and bail you out by giving you specifically only tips for the next couple of days. And uh, he said this as well at the start of his next uh, night stream on the 8th, which was uh, just a, wee, it's a minute long or something, but he said this. Now also, I talked about this earlier today. I will have to mention it now and maybe one more time during tonight's stream. This weekend, I am really strapped financially. It sucks. I don't like talking about it with my audience, but I have to. Um, I have two giant bills clearing. One clears tomorrow and one clears on Monday. And then I have my day off on Wednesday where I have to do things like go grocery shopping for my family and the like. The only way I can pay for any of that stuff is with tips. The good news is I have a lot of it already ready to go for those bills, but not all yet. So if you are going to contribute to the stream tonight, if you would like to help me out the most and you're already planning on contributing, please understand I am not asking for anything above and beyond your normal means or anything you would normally contribute to, to, to help me out and keep my stuff going, which I greatly appreciate. But if you have the choice of how you'd like to support tonight and you were already going to support, please tip me. If that means foregoing a membership, foregoing a super chat or a super sticker, yes, please do that and tip me. I really need the help over the course of the weekend. And then after that, it'll be way more alleviated for the rest of the month. Okay? Fair enough. And again, it's all right. If you can't contribute, I'm not asking for anything crazy. Nothing beyond your means. Nothing outside of what you were already going to do. I'm just saying some people ask you, I wonder what would be better tonight for this or that. I definitely would need some tips tonight. It would help so much. Okay? One final thing, and then I'm going to... And that's, and that's basically the, the wee big segment from uh, last night's uh, July 8th, you know, late stream, uh, right before the gameplay started. But that's what I'm saying, though. He is desperately pushing this narrative that he needs tips specifically to pay, like, internet and condo juice. I actually checked Pipe Big Go before, and it does kind of correlate a wee bit roughly, roughly, time-wise. People kind of think he used this too early as an excuse to beg for these specific tips. But it does kind of match up, and Phil said before as well that the condo juice did go up slightly because of, like, uh, increasing prices and shit. So it does actually make sense. It is roughly about $800-odd, even though Phil does pay way too much for internet. He has two fucking internet lines, one specifically for a fucking business and one for a personal, and he spends a stupid amount of money where he doesn't need to. He thinks he needs to. But the truth of the matter is he doesn't really need to, but he's got it in his head that he absolutely needs to. And he's got like a fucking internet line, which is specifically for like a a small business with several people working in an office or something. He's got it specifically for himself only, which doesn't really do much. But it's crazy. But here's the kind of performance that Phil has had since uh, the extra hard begging from his, uh, from his day off before the 6th. We got $76 on uh, the 7th day stream. We got $37 on the night stream, then $156 for the Final Fantasy day stream from the 8th, and $64 from the night stream from the 8th. So, so far since his massive rampant begging, he has received $333 in tips. Now, he needs $850, apparently, for the bills alone, and he's also asking people to tip specifically so they can, um, they can afford to get the Feast of the King nonsense as well. And that's going to be between, what? Well, 50 to 100 bucks. It's, he's, he's asking for close to a thousand dollars in tips essentially within the space of a few days and he's hoping this marathon tonight will really see him pull out the, the fucking whales and you know alleviate the financial burdens that he has inflicted upon himself by not managing his finances appropriately. It's, it's really a lot to ask for and it's just a short space of time to demand your fans to really step up and contribute in this kind of manner. It's just crazy as well, because some of the support he's had recently, you can see these blues, the blues means he's had successful days with tips, you know, when you see this tips tracker from piece to piece. And uh, obviously there's a couple of yellows and reds as well, but the, the green is also a good fucking day. It means 
it was green. He got kind of closest to the, the goal of... He got over $100 essentially if it's in the green. That's essentially what that means. And if it's in the blue, it means he's met his goal. And also in some cases surpassed it by a mile. Like 221 bucks here in the ninth for a Juno ever. But specifically looking after payday. Since payday happened, so he got paid on the 21st of June roughly, you know. Although I think he was saying it may have been a bit late by a day or two or some pushing me back nonsense. But he's still got massive help and support for these two days here. So on top of the YouTube money that came in, he also had these in tips right here. And he had a really good night stream here as well, he had a good night stream here, he's had a good couple of day streams here, despite all this going, you know, great support. His piss poor management of his own finances has left him demanding his fans, ignored trying to do memberships, ignored doing super chats and instead pushing hard for tips. Now not everyone will want to do tips because if you tip Phil, you are doxing yourself, you tip anyone, you are giving some of your private information to that streamer. I'm, I'm, it's the same with me. If anyone tips me, I will get some of your information, like your email address, and I think your your, your PayPal name, you know, and and even the currency that you use. So, and that's so that's, that's that's also the danger of risks of tipping. Phil pretends like he's like I don't see anything, and obviously he does see things because you'll he'll, he'll see the email address. So naturally, you know, people can obviously donate on and on and on and on and and it's in the streamer's right to make sure that they. Withhold that information, you know, and fucking don't pull the docs anyone that tips them, you know, if they want to be anonymous. But the fact of the matter is, people probably choose to super chat as well, whether instead of tipping because it's a more secure method of supporting a content creator. And it's uh, it's, it's, it's also but it's an easier one, you know, it's like, it's, it's actually quite easy once you're set up to just do a super chat instead of doing a tip, I feel, you know, it's just, uh, it's just probably built into YouTube system as well. You're already logged into YouTube, you're watching them, and you can just quickly click a couple of buttons and send a message and that's it, it's gone. PayPal can be a bit fiddly because obviously, especially with fills, it's like the light doesn't work sometimes so you got to like close it and then open it again and it's, it's a kind of weird thing with Phil. But he, it's his, his desperate desire and push to get fucking tips is, is weird as fuck, man. It really is. It's just, it, it, and it's just, it just illustrates that it doesn't matter how long passes, how much time passes, Phil's always going to have piss poor management skills. He's pretending that once he gets by this fucking, you know, once he gets by his day off, and that's a great thing as well, you know, I mean, he, he considers a meal with his wife part of the usual things that he desperately needs tips for. Why can he not go forego having a meal with his wife out and about somewhere? Because he, he's, he's desperately asking for people's help, and he includes having a meal with his wife out somewhere as part of that necessity. It's not a necessity to go out for a dinner date with your wife. You have a day off but you take care of what you got to take care of but it's called being an adult Phil. It's called managing your adult life appropriately. If you've not got the money yourself to actually have a bit of extra on the side to enjoy a nice meal with your wife then you just don't have a fucking meal out somewhere with your wife. You just manage your money smartly. You you get something cheaper to have, like, you know, either take it home or get, get, get a fucking McDonald's or some pish, but don't, for God's sake, you cannot just say that having a meal out somewhere with your wife is one of the necessary things for your fans to step up and contribute for this coming fucking, like, you know, this week, just so they can force your goddamn fans to tip you instead of doing anything else, just so they can stuff your piggy wee face with your fat ass wife, God damn it. I just kind of thought I'd get it out there, you know, just a wee bit of a update on how Phil's financials are going. He's really needing, like, almost a thousand dollars. But he says, uh, what, one bill's clearing today on a Saturday, which doesn't make much sense to me. Bills don't usually clear on a Saturday, but Phil says it does, so there you go. Fucking Phil's word is law, I guess. So Phil says, one bill's clear on a Saturday and never should clear by the Monday, which doesn't make a whole lick of sense to me, but there you go, it is what it is. That's, that's, that's fucking Phil for you, I guess, but... Yeah, this has been Kane Jad. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out.